Warren, we talked about it almost 50 caps in Northern Ireland. You played in several qualifying uh, competitions, both for Europe and for the World Cup. Northern Ireland, three matches in, top of the group, the European qualifying. Can you believe it? No, probably if you're honest. Um, you know, working with those guys, I know what they've got, but it's the best start, is what they said. They, they ever, Northern Ireland's had the qualifiers. Nine points from you know, ver three very hard games, never mind the Greece um, and the Hungary game. That you know, the further ones are always the pressure on you expected to win, but you've got to cross that white line and do it. And the boys done that, and we're in a great, great position, and in one that I'm very, very confident that they'll, they can, um, you can do this. This time of year ago, Michael O'Neill couldn't have bought a result, and just things like football is strange, isn't it? I remember over in, in Iceland with Sammy McElroy. With the 92nd, 83rd minute, big car went up, dropped the ball, Iceland scored a goal. And after that, Sammy never had a bit of luck as an on Ireland manager. We got a wee bit of luck in Greece, the ball, you know, the first goal deflected in off the Greek defender. Luck can, it can play a major role, can't it? Like? Oh, it's, it's massive in football, you know, you get some managers saying you make your own luck, but what is you make your own <coughs> luck? You know what I mean? There's, um, you know, it, it is a difficult one as a manager, you want to, where Michaels went in, and to be honest, I thought when he when he did, and I hold my hands up, I said that Northern Ireland at the time needed to get back to what they were good at. Of, you know, did we have the players to take these people on technically um, at their game? And you know, I thought Northern Ireland probably got their best results was the huff puff high energy. But you know, he's believed in what he's doing. He's got players working for him, and it's good to see many of the old um, brigades still there, as I call them, because you know I still speak to a lot of them. But you know, it's they're getting that wee bit of luck with them now, and it's. You know, it's important. There's a feel-good factor in the whole of the country um, over it. And that cap, definitely. I went up to see a few of them. And, you know, they're buzzing. And it's rightly so because they're in a great, great position to go and do something. You went up to see a few of them, you know, because a lot of the lads you played with yourself. And <clears throat> there's one thing I... I this time about a year ago, uh, Kyle Lafferty was going through a difficult patch. Michael O'Neill was very, very honest in his appraisal of uh, the abilities of this young player. He came out publicly and said it, that this man had let himself down, let his country down, let his football and ability down, and he had a choice to make, either knuckle down, work hard, or become a forgotten man. It's a big one, Kyle, being Kyle. <coughs> um, he's definitely a character, you know, on the park, off the park. Did it do him right going to one of the uh, Rangers, the old firm? I don't know because, you know, the hype up there. Yes, it's one that as a footballer you maybe couldn't turn down going to Rangers Celtic. But, you know, getting caught up in it sometimes, I think emotions take over. And, you know, Kyle hold his hands up. It certainly did for him a few times up there. Getting away probably to, you know, a European team with a European background. Done in the world of good because you'll see their culture, what way they're brought up. And I think we're getting the benefits of it now from Northern Ireland because Michael did say that, you know, he needs, as you said, he needs to knuckle down and realise what he is and what he's got, what his strengths are. Um, and we didn't want to see good players like him sitting in the stands. You know, all the time, you know, he was getting sent off and cautioned for silly things. And, you know, hopefully he's put that to bed now because, you know, he's a fantastic start um, to these qualifiers. He's a real threat and one that we certainly need up front. Warren, the second goal uh, we scored, his goal against Greece, you know, I, I think if some other international striker had got it, we'd be raving about it yet. It was, it was a, it was a world-class finish. Great counter-attack, um, <coughs> the way, and as well, the way he skipped it around the guy. But if you look in the first half before that, he broke away on the left-hand side and hit the crossbar. You know, he's got that little, he's got that little bit of pace to get past people. Uh, when you think, you know, he slows himself down, he, he showed it in two occasions there. But you know, his finish. He could have went on in and, and finished it from six yards, but he didn't. He had the confidence to hit it from the edge of the box. And, you know, he, he's definitely a threat. He's got power, he's got pace, and he's getting better with his hold-up play, I think, um, seeing him, which, you know, can only benefit him, you know, and his game. But it's one of these, again, as I say, with so many players that don't play for their clubs in England and there come stages, you know, with fitness-wise in the middle of the season. It's all right now, but, you know, you need to be playing regularly for your club and... You know, hopefully can t or Kyle can take that, you know, performances from Northern Ireland and, and get in the Norwich side and start for Norwich. Uh, am I tempting the fate? Three games, nine points. I would almost suggest that another six points in Northern Ireland are even certain to, to make the third <coughs> place qualifying, you know, to make a playoff. Like, it's really a case. It's in their hands to finish first or second in this group. 
I've looked at it myself, but you know, I've said 17 points to make sure we're right qualify. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be great, great for us. But you know, I think the position we are in, you know, if we can just pull rank now, go to Romania. You know, everyone before that took a point in Greece, but we went and got, you know, went one better. Um, and who's to say, you know, we can't go out to Romania and, and pick up another three points. But the important thing is that. You know, to stay focused, I think they've got that mentality behind them now where, hold on a minute, we're in a position here where we can go on and it's a good thing to have and I don't see um, why we can't do it. I really believe that we can, we can lay down a marker and, and go on further this time and hopefully, you know, it'd be great to get on that plane to France. You always played with a great day. Well, let's put this, whenever you were called up, you always turned up. You were non iron through and through. You always played like that. You must be delighted for the lads. People like Steve Davis, like Carl, a few of the lads that you know that have battled for so long, have had no luck, couldn't get results, and now suddenly they're top of the three. It's great for everybody. I think it's great for the local game as well. I think it's great for the Irish League that non iron are doing with. No, it's, it's fantastic. You know, I love going and playing for my country, and the one thing I always um, we had in that changing room, you know, we were all together. Um, you know, everyone was, you'd go for a beer together, you'd go out to the cinema together, you'd go in the swimming pool together, you'd walk, everything was together. And with some laughs, with, you know, Paddy McCord was a character, you'd Kyle. Um, and I think it's the togetherness and changings which you need, and it's great to see some of the old guards still there. And, you know, it'd be great for them, like Big Gareth McCauley, who's my roommate, you know, it'd be fantastic for him to have a championships on a CV like the rest of them, Stevie Davis, the captain, and I really, really do hope, you know, they can do it. So I'm looking at McLean's and a good double non iron to qualify and Linfield to win the Premiership. I might put a bit of money on that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, thanks very Thank much. Thank you. God Cheers. Bless. Thank you. Now. Thank you.